So if the reference angle is greater than the given angle, then there's going to be two solutions as long as the reference angle is not bigger than 100, or sorry, bigger than 90 degrees, obviously. If the reference angle is less than the given angle, there's gonna be one solution. If the reference angle just doesn't exist, there's zero possible solutions. The case for two solutions can also be determined by looking at the two given sides. Since sine C over C is equal to sine B over B, then B over C has to be the same as sine B over sine C. So if I take sine of B over sine of C is greater than one, then B over C has to be greater than one. B has to be bigger than C, which means that the given side with opposite the angle is greater than the opposite, then there's only gonna be one solution. Taking a look back here, that was like this example. The side opposite the angle that I was given was bigger than the other side length I was given. There's only one possible solution. If the opposite side given is less than the opposite, then there are two solutions. Either it can be two or it can be none, depending on the actual height of the triangle. So, like it says, without using the sign law, determine which of the following cases <clears throat> where there is exactly one solution to the problem. So in this case, it says calculate C, where B is 56, side length B is 12, and side length C is 10. This is the side length that is opposite the given angle. B is greater than C. There's only one solution. In this case, if I have P, Q, P, R, then that is angle P. If I look at my triangle, Then it says R to Q is three, which means that this would be side length P and P to R is 4.2, which means that this would be side length Q. If you're trying to figure out what side length is, it's always the side length that is not the letter that is used. If you're trying to figure out what the angle it is, it's the angle that's in the middle of the stated ones. In this case, for the angle I was given, the side length opposite is smaller than the other side length I was given, which means that there is two solutions or no solution. And we wouldn't know until we actually went through the process of trying to solve it. If it says, find all possible measures for angle C given these triangles. Well, in this case, I have angle A I have side length A and A is less than C, which means that there's either two solutions or there's no solution. So I'm gonna use my sine law to solve if it just says that it's impossible. 
And I'm going to say that sine of C over 9.5 is equal to sine of 50 over 7.5. Sine of C is equal to 9.5 times sine of 50 all divided by 7.5 or angle C is going to equal sine to the negative 1 of that solution, 0 0.9703. Angle C is equal to 76 degrees. And because A is less than C, then that means that there is a second possibility because there was actually a value for C or 180 minus 76, 104 degrees. C is equal to 76 degrees or 104 degrees. In example B, I'm given angle A and side length A, and because side length A is greater than C, there should be one solution. So if sine of C over 7.5 is equal to sine of 50 over 9.5, then sine of C is going to equal 7.5 times sine of 50 all over 9.5. Angle C is going to equal sine to the negative 1 of the solution to this, 0 0.6047. Angle C is going to equal 37 degrees. And that's the only possible solution in this case. All right, go ahead, try some practice.